don't ever call a Russian girl friend, sister, or bro. If she met with you more than once, if she went out with you more than once, if she watched a movie with you more than once, <laughs> you're not friends anymore. Don't be naive. She's already planning your honeymoon. Hey. Mm hmm Do you love this four-wheeler? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yes! But it looks like you don't know. Look at me. Why are you so sad? I'm not it! I want this thing! Why are you crying? I'm not it! Stop! It looks like you're crying! I'm not it! Are you guys ready to order? Yeah, can I get your guys' this famous burger just without the tomatoes, please? You don't like tomatoes? No! I love them! For some reason, I just don't want them on my burger. Mom, look what I got on my math test! Oh my gosh! Did you actually get 100%? No! I got 10%, but my teacher accidentally wrote an extra zero. So, did you come to watch the game? No! I came to do my homework! Pay for a gym membership every month and never go. <laughs> Be a man. Mexican phrases that don't make sense when translated into English. ¿Soy hijo de Shota o qué? Am I the son of the police or what? ¿Qué? Mexican phrases that don't make sense when translated into English. No seas baboso. Don't be a person that drools. ¿Qué? Mexican phrases that don't make sense when translated into English. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Heel, heel, little frog's ass. ¿Qué? Hi, can I get an M&M McFlurry, please? That will be three thirty-nine. Thank you. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine isn't working. Would you like a refund? No, you can just keep it. Did you buy that vehicle? No, I stole it for the day. I'll see you later, Mom. I'm going to the cinema with my friends. Ooh, you're going to watch a movie? No, we're going to go sit outside the door and listen to it. Things you'll only understand if you grew up in the 90s. Before smartphones existed, we used this bad boy to make phone calls. And there were two features of this phone that were way better than most of the phones we have today. One, the battery lasted forever. You could use it for at least a week without having to charge it. And two, this thing was pretty much unbreakable. We didn't really use phone covers back then because we didn't need them, but if you happen to have one, I'm convinced it was more to protect the floor than your actual phone. Listen up because this is important. We cannot have a cashless society have you noticed how when you go to the gas station, they've got those little signs that say we're out of coins? So you're trying to tell me that just because of a pandemic, all of a sudden the coins just disappeared? I'll believe that when my shit turns purple and smells like Rambo Sherbert. No, what they're doing is they're holding in the coins, so then that way people are starting to use cashless. Cashless society. And let me make myself clear. If they have a digital currency that they can turn on and off at any time that they want to, you have lost complete autonomy over your financial freedom. So let's say you say something on social media that these people don't like, oh, they cut it off. They won't let you buy any goods. The Great Reset is real, and if you haven't seen the most recent Joe Rogan podcast, I highly recommend you go and watch it because they explain it out perfectly. We're in trouble if they do this. All of the people telling you, you can't have the country you want. No longer can we rely on those same people. 
in the media and politics who will say anything to keep our rigged system in place. Instead, we must choose to believe in America. History is watching us now. We don't have much time, but history is watching. It's waiting to see if we will rise to the occasion and if we will show the whole world that America is still free and independent and strong. All we need to do is start believing in ourselves and in our country again. Start believing. In our mind, that's where we find fear. But it's in our hearts where we truly know what is right. Because in our hearts, that's where we, where we differentiate between darkness and light. It's your heart talking to you. Not your mind, because your mind is going to say, I'm afraid. And what I'm telling you is we need to be fearless as Americans. I have joined the political arena so that the powerful can no longer beat up on people who cannot defend themselves. I want every politician to listen very, very closely to the words I am about to say. The time for action has come. Corruption has reached a level like never, ever before in our country. Things have to change, and they have to change right now. America is better when people put their faith into action. As long as I am your president, no one is ever going to stop you from practicing your faith or from preaching what's in your heart. No one has ever achieved anything significant without a chorus of critics standing on the sidelines explaining why it can't be done. The future belongs to the dreamers, not to the critics. The future belongs to the people who follow their heart no matter what the critics say, because they truly believe in their vision. It is time to show the whole world that America is bigger and better and stronger than ever before. We're in a spiritual battle for the heart and soul of this country. And we need to be fearless because truth will always triumph over. Are you cutting the grass? No! I'm giving the earth a haircut. Did you paint your walls? No! I cleaned the walls so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No! I'm going to play tennis. Dude, us as Christians can't celebrate Christmas. It's a pagan holiday. Christmas is a pagan holiday? Yeah, it's a pagan holiday. It's crazy. I did not know that pagans used to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Wait, what? No. No. It... No. It... No. Wait, but you just said that Christmas was a pagan holiday. Right. They... They stole the pagan holiday. They used to celebrate Saturnalia and all these different things, December 25th, and Christians then took that and then made it about Christianity and God and stuff like that. Oh, I see. I see. So it's not the same holiday then. They just celebrate it on the same day, yet they do it for different reasons. Well, they do very similar things. There's trees and celebrations and, you know, decorating of all this stuff. It's all pagan, man. Decorating a tree is pagan? Yeah, the Bible talks about this too. It says not to, you know, decorate your, cut trees down and decorate them with gold and silver. Oh, oh, right. You mean when uh, the Bible was talking about the plating of gold and silver to make wooden idols? Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, also the idea that Yule and the Saturnalia, all those people for a long time would cut trees down and decorate them and all that. The decorating of tree may be somewhat similar, but they actually used to chop logs in half, burn them, and then whatever was left, they carve into idols. There was no decorating of a tree, putting a star on top, presence underneath, and the worshiping of Jesus Christ. Okay, but whatever. The Bible doesn't even say to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Like that, why would you even do that? Are you going to tell me it's a sin to do that too? Well, Jesus never said to. 
I'm failing to see how that's, how that's wrong, though. How, how is that wrong to do that? Okay, just uh, Christmas is pagan. That's what it is. So is Halloween. So is Easter. Are you insane? Do, do you have a frontal lobe? What are you talking about? It's all pagan. Stop celebrating those things. It's all satanic. Oh, sorry. I'm drinking out of a silver cup. Pagans do that, too. Is this pagan? Bro, stop. You, you're completely missing my point. But we're in a red car with the red interior. Pagans must do that too. Is it pagan? Why are you yelling so much? Stop yelling. I mean, seriously, when are you guys going to figure out that it's not wrong to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ? Giving gifts is not wrong. Setting up a tree, decorating it, having fun. No sin in your heart. You're good. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Do you get that? What does 1 Samuel 16, 7 have to do with decorating trees? It has to do with your heart. The intentions of your heart. Are you doing it to worship false gods? Or are you doing it to worship God? That's what he cares about. Stop it. Stop it with the Christmas. Well, I'm not celebrating Christmas. Oh, I'm sure that really just burns God up, doesn't it? Do you think it's a sin to celebrate Halloween? A lot of people think it is. But when you look at the origins of Halloween, yes, they're very much sinful and pagan and satanic. But why in the world would you take totally separate things and events that are brought into something that is done on the same day as those events and then say that those actions are also sinful and pagan? It's the exact same thing as saying, somebody was shot in my driveway. So that means anybody who comes into my driveway will also be shot. No, no, no. One event does not determine all the events that could happen in your driveway. In the exact same way, just because Halloween started as a pagan holiday with satanic rituals and horrible things going on does not mean that your son or daughter dressing up as their favorite superhero, going around from house to house getting candy, is a sin. This is a classic case of people taking the level of importance of one thing and applying it to something totally different that has nothing to do with it. One of my fondest memories as a kid is going trick-or-treating. I loved it. And not one thing about it was satanic. So what if your neighbor has a, a, a cloth ghost skeleton hanging from their porch? So what if there's a skull in the front yard? Well, it's the glorification of death. Is death a sin? Is death a sin? Well, your kids are dressing up like serial killers. Really, I don't know one child in my life at least, who has ever dressed up as a serial killer. You've got the classic ones. Friday the 13th, you've got, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason, Freddy, you got those classic characters from Halloween, but is dressing up like them a sin? No. Is murdering and taking someone's life and doing satanic things like they did a sin? Of course. God understands the intentions of your heart. He knows that you don't think that as a result of your kid dressing up as Jason or Freddy or a serial killer, that it's a sin. Nor is it the appearance of sin, because you don't logically look at a child who's seven years old who's dressed up as a serial killer and think they're going to kill somebody. You don't think that. This all comes from outrageously conservative parents who are overbearing and take the Bible out of context. Your child is allowed to have fun. Your child is allowed to have candy. And if they're not, I guess that's up to you, but don't lie to your children. It's not good. Well, here's a fun fact. If the US government would have sent that $40 billion to the public school system instead of sending it overseas to Ukraine, then every single public school in America would have had over $400,000 to provide security for our own children. And you assholes in Washington, D.C. expect me to believe that guns are the problem? No, you're the fucking problem. And I'm getting really pissed off about it. Elon Musk, can you address rumors that you bought Twitter because aliens told you to? Uh, <clears throat> My sources say Elon bought Twitter to impress some alien baddies. Dude simping on ET. Can you confirm? Yeah. That's incredible. 
How hot were the aliens? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to blow your mind. Well, did you smash? Uh, ultimately, um, I know these things in... in, in uh, okay, that's a no. But Jeff Bezos said he already hit that. He's a liar and a fool. Well, that's just what he told me. Very annoying when that happens. Did you eat all your food? No! I pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you just spill water on the floor? No! The floor was thirsty. Create password. And enter. Are you human? No! I'm a guinea pig. Okay, so uh, I I'm, I thought this was assumed when it came with once saved always saved, but I guess not. Once saved always saved does not mean that once you're saved, you can just do whatever you want. If a byproduct of your salvation is Christ-like attitude, a Christ-like heart, the Holy Spirit is in you, and you're doing what God calls you to do, you're not going to do whatever you want. It's just a part of it. So no, once saved always saved is not a lie from the pit of hell. The opposite is a lie from the pit of hell. The idea that you cannot be uh, secure in your salvation is a straight up lie. There's nothing in the Bible that teaches that. Jesus taught the exact opposite, that eternal life is what Jesus offers through grace, through faith. The idea that we are called to a holiness lifestyle, that you said in your comment, it's totally true. That doesn't mean we're not going to screw up. doesn't mean we're going to be perfect. It means that if you are truly saved, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior... You cannot just fall away from that. It's not that simple. You can't leave that. If you are truly a believer in Christ, you are not going to become an atheist. You're not going to go to a different religion. You're not going to uh, do things that go against God's perfect salvation, the idea that you are now saved. Now, can you sin? Yes, but that's why the gravity of our sin is so uh, incredibly large because we are saved and we've made a huge mistake. And that's exactly why when you are saved, you change. A lot of people notice this in people who have, who have changed their lives. They go from being non-Christian to Christian. They're like, why are you so different? It's because their lives have changed. It's because their actions have changed. Because they're showing that they are no longer of the world. Now remember, we are not called to be perfect people. We're called to be available. We're called to be Christ-like. And it's very important to note that if you are Christ-like, if you are a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ... That does not equal perfection. That equals your absolute best that you can be as Christ was, or is, rather. You try the absolute hardest you can to be like Christ. Not a perfect man or a perfect woman, but as hard as you can to be Christ-like. So many people say, well, does this mean that I can just do whatever I want? Does that mean that I can do this or that? No, no. Because if you are a believer in Christ, you're not going to do whatever you want. That is not how perfection, that's not how Christ did things. Jesus Christ didn't do whatever he wanted. He was a, a he was God in human form. He did what was bound by God's law. He did what God would do. We also have to be a reflection of what God would do. So that means not doing sinful things. And if you do sinful things, it just shows you're a sinner and that you're not perfect, which God already knows. Come in. Sir, we've just been informed that there's been another mass shooting. Oh, no. C come on. Okay, hand me the template. All right. So, my thoughts and prayers are with the people of, where did this happen? Michigan. Michigan. My heart breaks for the, how many people this time? A eight lives lost. We pray for their families and something must be done to prevent tragedies like this. All right, so go ahead and tweet that, send it to the media, whatever you need to do. What? Um, so, 
I've been thinking. Already don't like that. I was just thinking, are you ever going to follow through on that? The end of the template, the whole something must be done part? Oh, God. How many times have we had this discussion? A lot. We've had this conversation a lot. Most recent was a week ago, the last time this happened. And what did we talk about a week ago? Uh... I don't remember? No, I don't. You see, that's what we count on. That's what the thoughts and prayers are for. We, meaning the folks in the government, are praying that the general public will be really upset for maybe a week. Maybe two weeks, Max. The discourse will be the same, obviously. Uh, ban guns, you're never gonna take my gun away. Uh, the Second Amendment, the fact that the Second Amendment was written back when guns took three minutes to reload. Mental health, maybe we need more guns to solve this issue, and so on and so on. The same old song and dance. And as quickly as the shouting started, the shouting ends. And why do you think that is? I don't know. Because if you wanna live in this country, you have to work. And with work comes bills. And with bills comes stress. And with stress comes... Uh, I, I don't. Mental fog. You see, we manufacture that fog. And that fog makes it so that the majority of Americans will ultimately end up... Forgetting? Bingo! And by forcing them to forget through the system that we've created, we just sit back, relax, and keep collecting those checks from the NRA. <laughs> so is this making sense now? Yeah, you're saying it's dumb to hope for change in a country that cares more about profit than the lives of its citizens. Well, I wouldn't put it as cynically as that, but yeah, that about sums it up. I'll get your statement out by today. That's a good boy. Who knows? Maybe the public's already forgotten. Yeah. Maybe they've already forgotten. Well, hello. Gas prices are four sixty-five a gallon where I am. They're up past seven dollars a gallon in california the national average will be above five dollars a gallon by next week that's just what i heard in the news today so you might be thinking i should get an electric vehicle well guess what i didn't know this until a couple weeks ago and i started researching it states have now implemented a fee for your electric vehicle on top of your registration fee that you got to get at least in south dakota you got to get it every year uh california you have to pay a hundred dollar fee colorado is only 50 bucks georgia's 200 dollars Idaho's 140, Nebraska 75, Utah was 60, went to 120. They look to double it again in the next couple of years. However, places like Oregon and the other states that I have mentioned are now looking at something that will cost you even more, and that is the vehicle mileage tax. If you own an electrical vehicle, it's already passed the house, they will charge you per mile that you drive each year. This will be on top of the electrical vehicle fee and on top of your registration because the states are like well they have an electrical vehicle so they're not buying gas and they're not paying the gas tax so now they are implementing laws where you will have to pay and in some instances if you get 40 50 miles per gallon and you drive 12,000 or more miles a year you end up be you'll end up paying more in gas tax on this vehicle mileage tax than you would have at the pump. Yeah, you're saving money off the entire price of the fuel minus the state gas tax, but still, it's ridiculous. Some people could end up paying a couple thousand, if not even more, per year, just to own an electrical vehicle. So Biden's push, go electric, and he's, I don't know if you saw this, he's now praising the high gas prices because that will push people to electrical vehicles. Well, I don't have 25,000 to $50,000 for an electrical vehicle that I can get right now. And on top of that, now I'm going to have to pay all at once for a vehicle mileage tax at the end of the year, plus my registration every year and my tags. It's ridiculous. So don't know if some of you knew about that. Research it. Um, just type in electrical vehicle fees by state um, or vehicle mileage tax. It'll all come up for you. It's crazy. You cannot get away from saving money. You just can't. There's no way in this world that you'll ever be able to save money.
Excuse me? I'm trying to buy a razor. Can you... Oh, I actually don't work in that department. Oh. Okay. Um, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Oh, I actually don't work in that department either. Every employee knows where the bathroom is. What do you mean? That's the bathroom department. The bathroom department? That's ridiculous. I don't understand. I excuse me, sir. Can you help me? I don't work in that department. Okay. So, what you guys are telling me is that neither of you can help me at all, even though I'm a Give customer. Give me your watch. What? Your watch. Give it to me. Are you robbing me? Yeah. Right now? Are you guys gonna do anything about this? That's actually not my department. That's security department. Okay! Alright, you know what? Fine. Fine, here. You know what? Just take the watch, because they're not gonna do anything. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, because they're not gonna do anything about it. Since nobody here seems to work in any department, I'm just gonna steal some soap. I work in the soap theft department. The soap theft department? You're going to jail. Make sure you don't drop the soap. What? Just the cherry. Yeah, I've never popped a cherry before, so I wanted to see what that was like. Do you have any, like, tips? You can get it for free. I can just have it? Do you know how to pop it, or...? <laughs> um, who is this? I'm Siri. I'm here to help. Hey, it's Serena. Hey, bud it. Bud it. Damn it, Beavis, I told you to shut up. Uh... Do those nachos come with side orders of nachos? Um, hey, hello? How can I help you? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> Good to talk to you. Yeah. Um, hey. So, um, I was wondering, um, you know, like, um, when we're gonna score, you know? Notre Dame is losing to Alabama, 7-0. to zero. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so, um, I know you probably like Butthead more, but I was thinking, um... I don't understand Butthead. Yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's like... He thinks he can tell me what to do, and he's always trying to kick my ass for no reason, and it just gets old after a while. <laughs> you know? I'm tired of it. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, just, you know, like, listening, you know, helps a lot, you know. And I guess I never really had anybody, you know, like, that actually listens, like, when I'm talking and stuff, you know? <laughs> like, nobody hears the real Beavis, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't understand Beavis. You know, neither do I sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> um, who is this? I'm Siri. I'm here to help. Hey, it's Serena. Hey, bud it. Bud it. Damn it, Beavis, I told you to shut up. Uh, do those nachos come with side orders of nachos? <laughs> um, hey, hello? How can I help you? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> Good to talk to you. Yeah. Um, hey. So, um, I was wondering, um, you know, like, um, when we're gonna score, you know? Notre Dame is losing to Alabama, 7-0. to zero. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so, um, I know you probably like Butthead more, but I was thinking, um... I don't understand Butthead. Yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's like, he thinks he can tell me what to do, and he's always trying to kick my ass for no reason, and it just gets old after a while. <laughs> you know? I'm tired of it. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, well, just, you know, like, listening, you know? helps a lot, you know, and I guess I never really had anybody, you know, like, that actually listens, like, when I'm talking and stuff, you know? <laughs> like, nobody hears the real Beavis, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't understand Beavis. You know, neither do I sometimes. Yeah. Neither do I. <laughs> Just the cherry. Yeah, I've never popped a cherry before, so I wanted to see what that was like. Do you have any, like, tips? You can get it for free. I can just have it? Do you know how to pop it, or...? <laughs> Hi, can I get an M&M McFlurry, please? That will be three thirty-nine. Thank you. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine isn't working. Would you like a refund? No, you can just keep it. Did you buy that vehicle? No, I stole it for the day. I'll see you later, Mom. I'm going to the cinema with my friends. Ooh, you're going to watch a movie? No, we're going to go sit outside the door and listen to it. Excuse me? I'm trying to buy a razor. Can you... Oh, I actually don't work in that department. Oh, okay. Um... 
could you tell me where the bathroom is? Oh, I actually don't work in that department either. Every employee knows where the bathroom is. What do you mean? That's the bathroom department. The bathroom department? That's ridiculous. I don't understand. I excuse me, sir. Can you help me? I don't work at that department. Okay. So what you guys are telling me is that neither of you can help me at all, even though I'm a Give customer. Give watch. What? Your watch. Give it to me. Are you robbing me? Yeah. Right now? Are you guys going to do anything about this? That's actually not my department. That's security department. Okay. All right. You know what? Fine. Fine. Here. You know what? Just take the watch, because they're not going to do anything. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, because they're not going to do anything about it. Since nobody here seems to work in any department, I'm just going to steal some soap. I work in the soap theft department. The soap theft department? You're going to jail. Make sure you don't drop the soap. What? Did you eat all your food? No! I pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Ah, oh, shoot. <sighs> Did you just spill water on the floor? No! The floor was thirsty. Create password. And enter. Are you human? No! I'm a guinea pig. <laughs> Are you cutting the grass? No! I'm giving the earth a haircut. Did you paint your walls? No! I cleaned the wall so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No! I'm going to play tennis. Recorded myself. Your eyes, you would not believe your eyes. You would not believe your eyes. Disgusting. Peter does okay, prostate uh, exam. Good. All right, Mr. Griffin, I'm just going to need you to drop your pants and we'll check your prostate. Uh, what? Drop your pants, turn around, and lean forward. Um, uh, okay. So how does this work? You just feel my pulse? So we're... Ah! 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 <sighs> what the hell was that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! That's how a prostate exam is performed. Now, if you'll just let me... Get away from me! Ugh, get a tan. No, I'm not doing it. No. No, fuck you. Just because you put the song on doesn't- Just a small town girl!